how are you? I hope you are fine and you are safe. Students, today we are going to read English first paper class 8. So, students look at the picture. What are you saying in the picture? Yes, some people they are playing with trees, they are planting trees. So, what it means? It means they love trees. These people love trees very much. So, you can guess what's our today's lesson? Yes, today our lesson is the man who loves trees. Yes, it is lesson 4, unit 5. The man who loves trees. Again look at the picture students. What can you see in the picture? There is an old man. Who is he? Do you know this person? Look at this description. The man's name is Kartik Paramanik. His father's name is Shuren Paramanik and his mother's name is Shubash Bala. And here other descriptions, his village, his upojela, district, birth year, profession, passion, quantity of plant and identity. Students, you have already known about Kartik Paramanik. So, now we can read the passes. So, read the passes silently only for understand the contextual meaning. Okay, students, I think you have read the passes already and there are some difficult words. What are the words? Ye yes, one word is profession. Profession. Look at the picture. In the picture, you can see one man is doing something and he is a hairdresser. So, profession means occupation or job. Now, students write a sentence with profession. Kartik Paramanik is a hairdresser by profession. Now, another word, what is it? Sapling. Sapling. Do you know the meaning? Yes. Go to the picture. In the picture, you can see a small plant. Yes. Sapling means seedling. That means a small plant. And you can make a sentence. Kartik used to plant sapling. Now, we can see another difficult word. What is that? The word is mission. Yes, I can explain the word. Suppose you want some success and then you have a mission. You should have a mission. That means you have to target something for your success. So, I can say in Bangla, mission means lokho. Okay. You have to get something with a tar target that means lokho. Okay, look at the picture here. Some athletes are running to get their target and it's their mission. So, write a sentence of, with mission. The sentence is no vision is succeeded without a mission. Now, the another word is gigantic. I'm writing the word on the board. gigantic. Now, look at the picture students. In the picture, you can see a tree and the tree is very large. So, gigantic means huge, massive or large. In Bangla, we can say Bishal. Okay? Now, you have to make a sentence. What will be the sentence? The sentence is what a gigantic tree it is. Now, the next word is passion. What's the word? The word is passion. Look at the picture, students. Passion, you can see in the picture that a bird is taking care of her children. That means the bird is very caring 
and loving. So, passion means a strong desire or love. Now, can you make a sentence? Yes, the sentence is, my brother has a passion for cricket. Okay, students, let us have a tour to the farthest corner of Bangladesh. Look at the map. The map is showing Shibganj Upozila, where Kartik Pramani lives. Can you see Shibganj Upozila? Yes, it is in Nawabganj district. And in Shibganj Upozila, there is a village. The name of the village is Tarapur. And at Tarapur, Kartik Pramanik lives. Students, so already we have learned some new words, no? Yes. What were the words? We can revise again. Profession, okay. Kartik Pramanik is a hairdresser in his profession. You can see some other professions. Suppose uh, you can think about me. I am a teacher, okay. It's my profession. A man does something for his livelihood, okay. This is profession. Okay, the next word, sapling. Already you have seen the picture, sapling is little plant and Kartik Paramanik loved to plant this sapling and he plants so many sapling in his village that previously his village was uh, just like a oasis, but now his village is green, okay? So, sapling means young plant and you should always think about plant some saplings to make our environment green, okay students? Now, another word was mission. Already I have told about mission that the Bangla meaning is loko. You have a target to get something or you have a target to achieve some success, okay. And then you have some plan, it is called mission. Then gigantic, yes. Have you seen ever any gigantic man? Uh, have you read the story of Aladdin? Yes. What about the gigantic man of Aladdin? Aladdin's story? Yes. Have you seen his picture? He is gigantic. Okay. And in our picture, we have seen a tree which is gigantic. And in Bangla meaning, we can say Bishal. Okay. The next word, passion. Passion, strong desire for something. Think about our cricketers, Sakib Al Hassan. Tami Iqbal, Ashraful, Mustafiz, they have a strong desire and in their childhood they had the desire to be a cricketer and that is why today they are successful cricketer. So, have you understood the meaning of passion? Yes, I think you can. Read the passage silently because after reading the passage you have to do some task. What is the task? Yes, after the passes, there are some multiple choice questions in your book and you have to answer the questions after reading. So, read silently and attentively, okay? Students, again look at the picture. In this picture, we can see before 72 years, Tarapur was like this without tree. You can see the picture, the village is very dry, the soil is dry and there is no trees here, okay? This is the present Tarapur. After 72 years, you can see the Tarapur is totally green and how is it possible? It is possible for Kartik Paramanik because he planted so many trees to make his village green and pollution free. So, I think he is a great man. 
In this picture, what can we see? There is no shade and no trees. The old man is very exhausted. Can you recognize the man? Yes, he is a farmer. After doing work in his land, he is exhausted. And another man, he is also exhausted and sitting on the ground and there is no trees. So, the man is tired for the sunshine. And after that, Kartik Pramanik decided that he will plant more trees in his village. So, let's see the next picture students. In this picture, we can see there are some sapling and Kartik Pramanik began to plant many trees in his village. Okay. Students, look at your book in section B. There are some true false statements. You have to decide which one is true and which one is false. Look at the slide. The sentence number one, he planted the first tree 50 years ago. Sentence number two, Kartik borrowed money from others to plant trees. Sentence number three, he would plant trees around his hut only. Sentence number four, at times Kartik would water his trees at night because he felt lazy during the day. Okay, I will not say you the answer. You have to find out the answer, okay? Students, I don't say the answers of true false statements. You have to find out it, okay? Okay, students, have you seen the slide? Yes, the, the multiple choice questions are also given in your book too. So, you have to answer the questions. And do you want to read the passage again? If you want, you can read. And go to section D. There are some questions. Try to answer the questions. Now students, I am going to give you a homework. The homework is, I think uh, you have seen uh, someone around you who loves tree. Have you seen? Of course you, you have seen. So, the homework is write 10 sentences. about someone around you who loves trees. So student, this is your homework. Try to complete it and submit it to your class teacher after your vacation and this class you can again see in Kishore Batayon. So, this is the end of the class. Thank you.